So I'm joined by Matt Roberts from Amdox. Matt, nice to see you. Good to see you again, Mark. Now, 12 months ago, uh, Amdox launched its big data, new big data platform and new big data strategy. Um, I think it'd be interesting to find out what are some of the maybe the key learnings, key takeaways from that as you've sort of deployed that with, with operators around the world. Yeah, so what we've seen in, in, in the last 12 months um, since our initial announcement in, in 2014, um, we've seen a, a broader amount of interest within the service providers uh, around big data initiatives around the different buying towers within a service provider. So it's everything from marketing, IT, care, and network. But what we've also seen is not only service providers you know, be interested in the analytics and the new technology and platforms, but we're into the execution phase now. And there's a lot of issues, uh, a lot of uh, requirements from our customer base on you know, getting the data out of the systems, hydrating their data lakes, cleansing the data, and making sure that all that data, that raw resource, uh, is analytical ready. Sure. Now, you mentioned marketing there. Um, I know that's one of the areas that you're particularly kind of interested in. Mm. Um, tell us about exactly what you can offer telcos and the marketing departments. So I think this is, as a marketeer, this is specifically uh, really interesting for me. What we're doing now and what big data allows is marketing to transform from a traditionally an art to a science. So where you would have expensive artistic campaigns targeted at you know, defined customer segments. What big data allows and what we're working on in Amdocs is to provide almost laser-guided precision marketing. You know, segmenting your customer, uh, not as a, a base of three million, but as an individual. And being able to present to them in real time the most appropriate officer, the, the appropriate officer offers rather that, that's required for them. So what you're doing here is you're lowering your marketing spend you're increasing your marketing uptake and your revenue returns, and you're improving the customer experience. So we think that analytics in the marketing domain is, is absolutely revolutionary uh, for our customer base. Okay. Um, one of the challenges that we keep hearing about where the operators have is a lack of resource um, uh, within their uh, organizations. What do you think can be done to change that and to help them? So there's, there's always been a talk about a lack of data scientists, that they've been uh, a really rare resources and super sexy resources and the rest of it. Now, we, we have a teams of data scientists that we can provide uh, to our customer base that not only you know, fills the, re the, the resource gap, but helps the customers understand the benefits from analytics. Maybe they don't have the resources in-house. What can it do for us? For them seeing it real hand, it kickstarts it. Secondly, what are we doing to help bring more data scientists into the into the whole domain? Well, we're working very closely with academia. Um, we have worked very closely with University College in, in Dublin and other academic uh, academic institutions to help build their MSc courses, not only in data science, but telecoms data science. And there's another category of, of resource shortfall that seems to have come up in the last 12 months. And it doesn't sound quite as cool as a data scientist, but that's a data plumber. The guys that can understand, extract the data, uh, cleanse the data, and hydrate the data lakes for the customers. Data plumbers are of equal importance as data scientists, uh, and we, we have teams of data plumbers uh, within the organization to help our customer base as well. So. Matt, thank you very much. You're welcome.